So what is IIS? IIS stands for Internet Information Services, and this is the web server that Microsoft produces. So if you want to build and deploy a website, you're going to need an HTTP or a web server of some sort. Most people use Apache or one of the open source alternatives, but there are reasons that you would use IIS, which is Microsoft's proprietary web server. Basically, IIS comes with any Windows operating system that you purchase. So if you purchase a server operating system, then you can install IIS for free. There's no additional licenses, uh, and you can have basically, I think, unlimited users on it. IIS is also available for Windows 10 or Windows 8 or any of the other client operating systems. Um, the only issue there is that you are limited to a certain number of concurrent connections. So I do believe with Windows 10, it's 20 concurrent connections. So if you're using Windows, you can use IIS for free, but do realize that if you want to use a full flow server with hundreds or thousands of users coming to it that you should buy the server operating system. Now the question then comes why should you use IIS versus Apache because you can install Apache not just on Linux but also on Windows and Mac. The main reason that people use IIS as their web server is simply because they're already using Windows or Microsoft in their environment. They already have the licenses and they're already used to the Microsoft way of doing things. So IIS is a GUI type interface. Basically, it's a graphical user interface like much else in the Microsoft world. And so if you have MCSEs or if you have technicians that are used to using Windows or Microsoft products, having them learn how to use IIS is relatively easy. Whereas if you're trying to learn Apache, Apache is all done by config files. And so for many, even professional techs, even technology professionals that have been doing IT for a little while, uh, simply having text-based config files can seem a little daunting to them. So many times, uh, corporations or people decide to use IIS generally because they already have the licenses for it and they feel that their staff will be able to get up to speed on IIS uh, more quickly than if they use something like Apache or Nginx. The other reason you may want to use IIS is because since it is a Microsoft product, it will play better with the Microsoft stack. So whenever we're talking about stacks, we're talking about all the technology that's put together in order to create a web server. So when we're talking about like the LAMP stack, so that's Linux, Apache, MySQL, PHP. So that's the full stack of a, a website that's going to be run uh, on a particular server. In the Microsoft world, there are other things in the Microsoft stack that a corporation may be using, such as they may already be using Active Directory for their security services. They may be using Exchange for their communication services. And by using IIS, basically they can have everything running off of that single Microsoft stack. There's less possibility of just weird, funky issues, especially as you're doing more complicated things. It is important to understand that you can't run IIS on Linux or Mac or I've heard you can. <laughs> I've heard you theoretically. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. If you're using Linux or if you're using Mac, use Apache. Uh, basically, this is a Microsoft product. It should be run on Windows. But that's what IIS is, and that's why IIS matters.